knives in laws? Yes, let's try. You should say something. Uh, typhoon Yolanda destroyed the trees in the houses. Alright, so we know the Typhoon Yolanda to be what? Typhoon Yolanda as what? Or Typhoon Haiyan as yes, Jerome? Yes, Mr. Bungan. Okay, it's a natural disaster and it's reported to be the strongest typhoon that uh, is recorded here in our country. Next, so how did Miss Jessica Sohan describe the place when she arrived at Akloban? What did she observe? What are her descriptions when she got there? Yes, Lester. May I see other hands after Lester? Ha? She observed the place as a... Uh, uh, the airport was completely destroyed. Okay. And okay. there are many people that lost their families and loved ones. Thank you. Very good. I said? Um, I would say that yes, Jessica saw so, um, just describe the place as um, it was an island. And mm -hmm. the place, it's a place of grief since mm -hmm. people lost many lives. Alright. Thank you so much. Okay. Next. What common problem is represented or represented in the video that we watch? Mark. Um, I think the common problem that presented in the video is that uh, they are living uh, near in the shore. Okay. So, so they experience some um, storm surge. Storm surge? Okay. Uh, what else? Ms. Galones. Okay, so people lost food, some lost, of course, they lost their homes. What else? Yes, um, Miss Amista, in our discussion today, but my question is, out of all the many data collection techniques that can be used in a research, why is it that interviews and observations are the most commonly used um, techniques or data collection methods in a qualitative research? Why do you think? Are these used widely used in qualitative research? Yes, uh, gentlemen. Okay, thank you. What else? Yes, Lester. Gathering data from participants. Okay, so it's effective in gathering data from participants. What kind of data do we get from our participants in a qualitative research? Mark, will we are after people's what in a qualitative research? There? Yes, Jenny May. Experiences. What else, Joyce? There? There what? Experiences, my God. Experiences. Yes, I said. Uh, opinions. Opinions, right? What else? Stories, emotions, etc. That's why interviews and observations are so effective in gathering data for qualitative research. So let us Define, differentiate, interviews from observations first, okay? So let's start with interviews. What do we mean by an interview? Yes, General. Okay, so what is the key word there? Questions, okay? So in interviews, there should be questions. Other answers? Macro, go ahead. Interview is a two-way dialogue where the other person has a question and the other person responds. Okay, so two-way dialogue involving who? There are two persons involved, involved in an interview. Who are these? Yes, General. Or oh, right, an interviewer and an interviewee. What's the difference? What's the difference between these two? Like that. Interviewer and interviewee. Who would like to help Liza? Yes, Joyce. Okay. Oh, okay, thank you so much, Joyce. If we can, you know, speak a little bit louder because, uh, you know, our face mask uh, makes it more difficult to be heard, but if we can project our voice more, no? Okay, so interview. Um, please read. Yes, Macro. It is a method of data collection that involves two or more people exchanging 